Castlevania Rondo of Blood, what is up with the person burning sunlights the glazed tassels filled with death signs all over it? The blessed damage isn't how the monkey is abused, because this game is trapped with mysterious levels and secrets all over the Rondo Blood world. The map of a great appearance dominating his Dracula as he beats the overcake styled enemies up so they can destroy Richard Belmont and make the piss bloody out. The feel of Castlevania games is the atmosphere and the creative definite bosses. The greatness in how the Mugly Farting game can perform a toxic leaner out of your assholes. I will have a lab line and a way to say this game has some creative backgrounds. Back then, don't take a crap because his background will spank you as a toilet hates you as a vampire bite butts the fuck out of you. The boss is mysteriously designed to throw you off the pitch sometimes. So keep your weapon on alert. <laughs> it's a family decorating game full of blood suckers and zombie arrivals so they can actually take your bloody tip fingers and chop them off. Go garden your dripping hose as a red lick of drips. Good final request if you're looking for an adventure or improvising styles. This game will flip you on top of a castle staple gate and stomp you to your insane death. This game is epic, a sacred sacrifice you will have to accomplish as the mission won't be impossible. The pop of this magic is greatness. One of my favorite Castlevania games of all, all time! Too bad the 99 Americans didn't get the battle of epicness, did they? Idiots will overcome with depleted madness, but this game is challenging, so hell, it's fair. I'll give it my instant holy water axe efforts. A 9.9 .9 out of 10.